Greetings, friends. My name is John Gabriel, and this is the New Calculus Channel. Well, today I'm not having such a great day. My depression is kind of strong, and it's hindering my breathing. But I'd like to talk about mainstream or intellectual dishonesty in the mainstream. So, let's begin. <laughs> All right, so on the site, on uh, Sci.Math, there is uh, a thread which was started by somebody called Marcus Cliver. Now, <laughs> this guy's a buffoon, but he's not the guy I'm going to talk about. Rather, I'm going to talk about two people who claim they have a master's degree in mathematics. Okay. The one is a guy who goes by the name Python. That's not his real name. His real name is Jean-Pierre Massager. I think he's a French Jew. Now, this guy is one of the uh, uh, antagonists. And the other one is a guy called <laughs> Zelos Malum, this guy here. And so, <clears throat> something really funny happened yesterday. Jean-Pierre, again, without any foundation, attacked my geometric theorem. Of course, he, he has nothing to say. So he says, for any function g that takes r to r, not that that has any importance whatsoever, by the way, but it's, it's a mainstream thing, you know. It makes uh, mathematicians feel good when they write garbage uh, because there is no such thing, first of all, as a real number. And if I were to write something like that, I would say it takes m to m, which is some magnitude to another magnitude. Now, my identity is this identity here, okay? But uh, not written with g of x, but with f prime of x. It doesn't matter if you write g of x, but it still happens to be the derivative. So finally, Jean-Pierre admits that g of x is equal to this, and he says, big deal. So I say, and then he says, nothing specific to f there. That's... That's totally false. It is specific to f because g of x is the derivative function, okay? But he still doesn't get it. Anyway, not a problem. Now, that actually turns out to be a curveball for our little master graduate from Uppsala University in Sweden, Zelos Malum. And he writes, he thinks that stuff you, the stuff that you pointed out is circular. And he says, if c is equal to f plus g, then g is equal to c minus f, so circular. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, people, he made a huge, huge faux, faux pas there. Okay, of course, if c is equal to f plus g, then g is equal to c minus f, and there's nothing circular about that. Okay, so uh, here's the the final comment I made, uh, I, I, I basically, you know, say that this is too funny and you can't make this sort of thing up, people. It's it's hilarious. Um, I'm called a crank by two mainstream academics who hate my guts, and I'm sure there are a lot more out there. And you know what? You all have to line up, buddies, because uh, <laughs> you're all idiots. And the only pity is that I don't have enough time to make fools out of all of them. So anyhow, this is about my geometric theorem, which you can find, and I'll place a link to it in the detail section, and you can study it and see what it says, okay? It basically shows you that mainstream calculus was, is, and always will be a fraud, okay? So, in other words, a fraudulent formulation. I'm not saying the results, the the uh, consequences or the formulas or the results or the theorems are incorrect, but the formulation is flawed, okay? Yes, it is flawed, and this is what my theorem proves. So without further ado, I'm going to leave you to think about this. Study my article, which I put in the details section, my historic geometric theorem, and then come back to this thread, to which I'll also place a link, and ask yourself, whether I'm really the crank or whether these two people that are attacking me are the cramps and cranks and whether they are being intellectually honest or dishonest, okay? 
So I'm not asking them to praise me. I mean, I don't give a crap about their praise. But I'm just showing you that it's hilarious that a master graduate in mathematics, two master graduates in mathematics, purportedly, I, I'm not so sure because I looked up this guy's name at Uppsala University, but couldn't find it anywhere. That doesn't mean he didn't graduate from there, so it's not certain. But to say something like this is absolutely ridiculous. Well, friends and enemies, I'm out of breath, very depressed. Don't know how I'm going to get through the day today. But I am going to get through the day. I've got to think positive. I wish you all a wonderful day today. Stay safe. And I'll chat with you again soon. Goodbye.